Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmoy Vishash. I welcome you all in my channel Tanmoy Kim. Today's topic of discussion is one MCQ. So you have to say what is the right answer. I request you student please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. I believe you have tried so let's start. Question is for aniline to 4 bromo aniline conversion which one is best choice for this reagent? By the way, when you are read a question, you need to understand what type of conversion it is in this case. It is aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction and bromine is actually substituting one proton from aromatic nucleus. Okay. So here four options are given, four reagent, bromine water, which one? So first let's look at the reaction. This is NH2 and from here this is 4 bromo aniline. what reagent needed. Now before going to details, we need to learn little bit about the property of this amine or aniline. So in case of aniline, this lone pair donates into the benzene nucleus makes this ring far more electron rich. Because by the way, nitrogen is not that much high electronegative like chlorine, oxygen like that, but uh, it has one lone pair. So it can delocalize its lone pair. Consequently, this is the structure. There are other canonical forms also. I'm not drawing. So here the conclusion is that because of this donation, I mean this plus R effect or lone pair donation inside the benzene ring, two ortho and para position are more electron rich. So if they are more electron rich, so they can react efficiently with molecules like electrophile. Electrophile means actually they are electron deficient. So you can understand that electron deficient molecule can smoothly react with electron rich center. That's why first of thing reaction will happen in both ortho and para position. This is the thing. And it is actually this aniline is called activated nucleus for aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction. So here if you say bromine and water, so obviously in the first step, if you take bromine and water, in this case, this combination resulted in tribromoaniline or more specifically if I say 246 tribromoaniline. Why? Because just sometime before I told this two ortho and two ortho and one para, these positions are more electron rich, so reaction happened. Actually, these an aniline nucleus, this aniline benzene nucleus is so electron rich that reaction cannot be stopped at monobromination stage. So it will go to tribromination. Same thing will happen from carbon sulfide, disulfide also. By the way, what is the difference between option A and option B? Solvent, water versus carbon disulfide. Water is actually a polar solvent, but carbon disulfide, if you look at it, is a non-polar solvent. So that's doesn't make any difference. Why? Because this aniline itself, the benzene nucleus of aniline is so much electron rich. Fine. Next is first concentrated sodium hydroxide, then bromine, then water. By the way, what this concentrated in which you will do? It is not phenol, aniline. So aniline deprotonation is not that much easier. So in this case also same thing will happen. Next, first, fourth option. So since ABC gone, then obviously option D will be the right answer. Now, if you look at first is acylation. So if you do acylation on aniline, what will happen? By the way, acetic anhydride is milder reagent than acid, acid chloride. So I have selected this one. So in this way, you will get one product. That is, this is NHCO and CH3. This acylated aniline, you can say. Now question, this molecule, this acylated, is it more electron rich or less? Obviously, in this case, this benzene is less electron rich compared to, I repeat, compared to the parent aniline. Question, why? Because this lone pair has a resonance, means it can come here and it can open. So because of this resonance, the electron density delocalization in this benzene nucleus is lesser compared to aniline. So ring is less reactive for aromatic electrophilic substitution. This is point number one. Point number two, if you look at this acyl group CH3CO, it is actually student significantly bulkier group. So consequently react, reaction on this ortho position is little difficult because of the steric effect of this group. So it, the second reason is steric actually. So steric effect of this group, so consequently reaction preferentially not happen in ortho position, which option left obviously in the para position. So you can, sorry, 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 this is not NHCOCH3 and here para bromo aniline is the product. But you can say sir, bromine in acetic acid, this is the end. So question was not, yes, I agree, this question is has a limitation. 
but students sometimes in question every option means the one option is not 100% correct means that all three are 100% incorrect a b c i agree but d is not 100% correct but since it matches closest to the right answer that's why we will consider this is the answer and if you want to get this final product 4 bromo aniline how can you get obviously by treatment with concentrated NaOH and heat. What happened in this reaction? And in presence of this strong alkali NaOH, these aromatic, these amide hydrolysis happen. This aromatic amine attached to this car, means carbonyl group. So this amide hydrolysis happen and ultimately produced our desired product for bromo. So this is the overall discussion. So what is the answer? Answer here option D first acylation, then bromine in carbon acetic acid. Obviously, it, I should have been mentioned hydrolysis, but so this is the right answer. So, this is the end of the discussion. I believe this video will be useful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.